So once the data is uploaded to the cloud, I can take my Android device running PenMap. So here I've got a TDC 600 and I see the Trimble PenMap application on the desktop and I tap that. I can see um, I might need to swipe down to refresh it, but we can see here the various projects that are actually on this device are on the cloud. And the one that's beside Burnbury Walkover, I can just hit the download from the cloud and it says, do you want to download? And I just say yes. So the data will now be downloaded from the cloud onto the TDC 600, which depending on the size of the data can take anything from a few seconds to a few minutes. Most data sets are fairly small. And now what it does is it loads that map onto the, t the, the device. A few options that we have, um, if we tap the little um, target symbol on the right hand side, that will start the GPS receiver and we can see that the satellite tra tracking starts and it might take a second or two to actually start acquiring satellites. And then we can see we've got some satellites. We tap it again and we should center in our location. And I see, should see the data that we've loaded, and then we should have a background map as well, as long as we've got internet connection. I can tap the burger button in the top right hand corner. We can go into display. We can toggle between different maps. So for instance, if I just want a standard Google map, then I can just change it to a standard Google map, or I can go back and I can change it to, um, I can change it back to the satellite map. If we want to do some staking out, we can choose, just choose stake out, and then I can choose stake point. I can zoom into the map. I can select the point that we want to stake out. And then the system just directs me entirely to that, towards that point. So very, very straightforward to staking out anything in the actual map itself. If I exit the staking out, if I want to um, update something on the, on the, on the, map then I can just choose topo um, first of all I can select a feature so top right I'm going to choose a feature and I may want to propose a new access access route or something similar so I'm going to choose lines new proposed route and rather than having to walk along the line I can choose free node and I can just start tapping where I want this line to go and then I can end the line by tapping there. So if we want to continue on the other side of the road, then I can just start tapping around that side of the road. Again, we can end it. We can go back and we can say lines, new proposed route, and we can start tapping on that side of the route. So we don't need to visit points, unlike most GPS receivers. Um, obviously, we're just working to a lower accuracy. Just to show you attributes, so we're going to go into free nodes. I'm going to, going to choose a tree. And here we can have forms specified so that this sort of information is all logged. And then we can take a particularly wet day in my testing environment and hit save. And then we have the tree so we can have all these features set up and then if we wanted to record a point then i can just choose again we'll choose something else and i will go to topo and i'll just choose that this is a camera point um and we can just hit the gps receiver bottom left hand corner we can take the photograph again And again, that point is now logged. Um, so that is basically how we record the points on the TDC 600. It's how we set out the points. When we're done, we can basically just hit uh, back and then we can basically go back another page. We're going to save that project. So to upload the project, we just tap on the image 
and we can choose upload and the project will be uploaded to the cloud and now we can do our exports from the cloud if we want to actually start creating exports then we can tap this arrow to the right hand side so here we can see that we can export csv files shape files autocad files and another couple of formats and when we export from here they'll be automatically loaded onto trimble connect so that's a quick run through and how to record points and then upload the data back onto the cloud